Hey everybody, this is Renee, and we are really glad that you're here today at Miss Lillian's Paint University. And today we're going to be talking about Miss Lillian's Luster Top Coats. The Luster is her flat sheen. She has the satin sheen, she has the semi gloss, the ultra high gloss, and exterior, which is fantastic for all of your outdoor projects. And the toughest of them all is her Dura Shield. It also comes in two different sheens, the low luster and then the high gloss. And it is absolutely extreme durability and fantastic to use on any kitchen or bathroom cabinet job. Um, and also great to use on your floor trim because you know when you're vacuuming and you run your vacuum cleaner uh, up into the, the trim, how it can chip it fantastic for that as well so I'm going to get prepared and show y'all several different ways that we recommend to apply these different uh, top coats of Miss Lillian so I'll be right back okay the one thing that's very important is you always want to make sure that you stir all of your top coats before you use them because that will disperse all the flattening agents that is in your top coat so that's very important and another thing is, is we always uh, suggest that you uh, pour your product into a paper plate of some kind because you don't want to contaminate your container of product so I've already poured some here and uh, you can use sponge we recommend that you use the sponges to apply for uh, because this really does help to eliminate any drips or uneven buildup and uh, also they can cause a haze from uh, applying with a brush so you can use whatever is comfortable with you and in, in the different sponges and uh, I use this one uh, of Miss Lillian's and I really do like it because it fits in my hand um, and I like to hold it like with the three fingers like that and what you do is you're just going to get it wet you're going to put it in the water and you want to make sure that you squeeze all of the water out because you just want it damp. You don't want it uh, to be saturated with water. Sit that over there. Okay. And then you're just going to dip your sponge into the top coat like so. You don't want a lot, just a little. Um, because less is more, it takes a lot less time to dry, and then you could come back in with your second application. So what you want to do is you're going to start up here, and you're going to take, and you're going to come all the way down, just like that, and then get some more. And I kind of offload just a little bit, and then I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to come down all the way and you don't want to stroke back into it just let it dry because that will take care of itself on the second application because it does dry really quick but you want to make sure that it's thoroughly dried before you start your next application it's very important Now see, I can see where I have missed here, but I'm not going to go back in and touch that again because that's what causes a lot of issues whenever people are applying their top coat. So I will let that dry, and once that's dry, I can come back if I want to with a very fine um, sandpaper, say 360 grit, and lightly sand, make sure that I remove all of the dust, and then I'm going to do the next application, and I will come back in from this end and apply any areas that I see that I have missed. Okay, I'm going to lift this up where you can kind of see. In fact, it's already drying because I didn't put it on very thick at all, and uh, that really helps to where you can finish your project uh, pretty quick. So uh, I'm going to set this aside, and then we will uh, do a door, a cabinet door. Okay, I'm going to be applying the Dura Shield, Miss Lillian's Dura Shield Low Luster to the cabinet door. And Dura Shield is a recommended that you use a synthetic brush, and this is Miss Lillian's two-inch uh, sash uh, angled brush, and I use it a lot. And I've already got it uh, put in the plate. 
so I'm just I'm not going to put a lot on just a little and then you're going to start in the center just like so and that's it I'm going to stop in the center I'm not going to do anything else and you can see there are no brush strokes in that whatsoever so I'm going to go to the outside okay and I'm not really brush brushing over the same area I can tell where I haven't got and I'm going to go all the way across I'm going to lightly touch and I'm done and then I'm going to come to the outside you do not want to keep brushing in the same areas just put it on and let it dry because then you can go back and put on a second coat once it is completely dry and of course that will depend on the humidity and uh, temperature in your area that you're working in and as you can see that took very little product at all and that is of course I have a fan on over here so that's helping it to dry but um, that is how we recommend that you apply uh, Miss Lynn's Dura Shield and I want to remind you that if you're doing something that is wood grain, you want to make sure that you apply your top coat with the grain of the wood. That's important. So I just wanted to make sure that I mentioned that. Okay, and something else that I wanted to remind you all about is um, remembering that your luster uh, top coats are permanent, unlike uh, if you apply wax. Uh, because if you apply wax, then you have to reapply every so often where you don't on the top coats. And if for some reason your client or you wanted to change out that piece and it's got wax, you are going to have to strip that. Whereas if you've just applied the top coat, then you can lightly scuff uh, with sandpaper, clean the top, and then re repaint. So always bear that in mind whenever you're uh, finishing a piece. And what we've got here is the onyx, and then this is snowflake. And so this is a recommendation that makes it so much easier to apply your top coat and uh, a little tip that uh, we want to share with y'all. And this is uh, the luster, uh, which is the flat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little, and what I do is I will usually just dip my a stick in there to add just a little of the onyx to that top coat. I mean it does, I may even have just a little bit too much, but it, and it looks blue on the camera, but it's not. It's, it's really white. Okay, and then the same thing with the snowflake. I am just going to dip my stick in and just put very little because it does not take much to do that. And you just want to make sure that you stir it up really well. And then again, I'm going to use a damp sponge. I've already wet it and uh, washed it out from the last application. And I am just going to dip that like I did before. And I'm going to start and I'm going to fall all the way through. Okay, and I've got enough. I'm going to start and I'm going to fall all the way through. Pick up just a little more, start and follow all the way through. And then I'm going to let that completely dry before I put on a second application if I feel that it needs one. Okay, and then this is the snowflake. And I'm going to just tip it over, turn it over to the clean side. Dip it just a little. I'm going to start on one end and I'm going to follow all the way through. 
dip it and follow all the way through. But I'm not going to touch where I think I might have missed. I'm going to wait until it dries because my second application is going to take care of that. So let's let this dry and we'll see, uh, I'll let y'all see what how it looks. Okay, I wanted to show y'all the door right quick. This is already dry and as you can see, it is scratch, you cannot scratch it off. That is absolutely awesome. And uh, there is a video uh, that um, is on the paint forum of Miss Lynn's and uh, I believe that uh, it is of Leslie Lockhart doing the nail test. So y'all need to search that out and watch it because it is absolutely amazing. Okay, and this is almost dry, but I wanted to catch it before it was completely dry so that you could see the application um, of how nice of a finish that gives by doing it that way. Because you can see that it's kind of damp. Uh, over here still so I wanted y'all to see that I'll take the tape off which and you can kind of see the difference in the sheen and that is just one coat and that is the application of using just a little bit of Miss Lillian Snow Wax chalk paint of the dark and into the light so that you don't have the streaks whenever you apply the top coat on your uh, dark colors or your very light colors. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And uh, for any further assistance on all instructions on how to apply any of Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint products, go to MissLillian'sPaint.net and go to the facts section. We appreciate y'all being here. And we'll see y'all next time. Have a blessed day, y'all.